And then I see her in there like counting cash and I'm like, oh, I thought you were using Apple Pay. And then I still didn't even get paid. Intentions. Shout out to your mom and dad for making you. Stay in a vision, they did a great job raising you. When I create, you're my muse. That kind of smile. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Angel K. And in today's video, as you could tell, I'm gonna be moving. Aww. This has been a long, 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 long time coming and it is so bittersweet because I love this apartment, but I am ready to leave Atlanta. Honestly, I'm ready to get up out of here. Like, <laughs> it's so long overdue, but I'm really gonna miss this apartment. So a little backstory, cause I know a lot of y'all probably won't know who I am and my Atlanta journey. So I've been here for three years. This is my third apartment since living here. The first one was in Conyers, the second one was in McDonough and now I'm in Norcross. And now I can say that because by the time this video is up, I'm gonna be out of here. But yeah, so I'm gonna be moving today. My lease is up on Friday and it's currently Wednesday. So I literally have like two days cause on Friday I gotta be out of here by three o'clock. And I have somebody coming to pick up my couch and the chairs that I'm selling because I'm selling everything I'm selling all my furniture literally everything I'm gonna show you guys what I'm about to sell um, but even yesterday somebody came to pick up the patio set and that was hard to let go because that patio set was so cute but let me show you guys what I'm selling and then I'm gonna go to the store later to pick up a few supplies let's get into this video if you're new here subscribe and you guys will get to see where I go next <laughs> I don't even know where I'm gonna go next. I mean, but I guess we'll figure it out together. So let's get started with this video. I'm selling this couch. Somebody's coming to pick it up today and then she's gonna pick up these chairs as well. I just cleaned these chairs, y'all. These chairs were so dirty. I'm sorry, they were so, ugh. I did not know how dirty they were. So I'm selling all that. I'm selling my table. All of these tables, it's a set. I'm also selling these mannequins. If anybody wants these, please come and get them from me. It's, except for this one, obviously. But it's six of these I'm selling for $100. So anybody wants some, let me know. So I'm selling the table set, all three of those. And then I'm also selling the mirror as well. But I don't know, I might keep it because I could definitely use it in my new place, so. Um, I might also sell my TV. I didn't put it up because I forgot, but I might sell that and plus the little floating TV stand. And then for the balcony, I already sold the patio set. I don't know what I'm going to do with those dusty little pollen filled chairs. I might just leave them outside by the garbage thingy and whoever wants them can take them. But yeah, my patio set is gone. So I'm actually going to be cleaning this couch and just getting it ready for her to come pick it up and get it up out of my apartment. Can I just say, I know I'm going to sound crazy for this, but I really feel some type of way with these people coming to take all my furniture. Like, I'm really honestly feeling some type of way. Like, I just going to come take my shit. <laughs> I laid out everything just here for them to come and take it, take it and go. I'm about to go to the store because I need to get some boxes. I need to get mattress covers. I need to get some trash bags and some tape. All I'm drinking is champagne. All you want is the same thing. Yeah. 
10,000 building, get your ass an apartment, put you inside a G class, that's just a start. It can plenty things count in life, but none of them is the thought of it. New piece around my neck is chess games. The shorty stay with calculated moves like Beth Harmon. Swear I'm more purple rain prince than Prince Charming. Disappointment, I stay expecting it. The pessimist gold medalist. All right, so I'm back home and I ended up getting like eight boxes because I just didn't know how much I would need. And the good thing about U-Haul is that they said you can buy as much as you need and they'll just take back whatever you don't use. So I ended up getting two small boxes, three medium and one large. Um, I think that should be enough, hopefully more than enough. And then I also got some mattress bags because I know there's no way I'm gonna, okay. Because I know there's no way I'm gonna be able to sell my mattresses like that's just i don't know who's gonna buy used mattresses so i bought four mattress bags they were five dollars each so it was 20 freaking dollars anyways and then i also bought <laughs> some tape so just some regular daily tape i forgot i didn't forget to get the trash bags but it's so much traffic on my street i was just like nah so um i have like three bags left and then i have my trash bin that is still not full so i think i should be good but now I'm going to put these boxes together and then start packing. and my stuff are gone i've been robbed ah! no, i'm just kidding um the lady came and she took them she paid me of course so that's you know it's great i got some money but anyways right now i'm just going to finish putting everything up that i haven't put up for sale y'all my living room is freaking empty <laughs> I'm gonna get started on the kitchen. I'm not planning on cooking tomorrow or on Friday. So I'm gonna wipe everything out in the kitchen, like the appliances and things like that. And then I'll probably get started in my pantry, my pantry where I store random stuff. Let me show y'all what my pantry looks like before I go. <laughs> because look, this is literally what my pantry looks like. I just use it as an extra storage space. like. It's really, what is, oh, that's some flour down there. My mom had bought some flour, I think. Rice, paper towel. I mean, the rice isn't where it's supposed to be. But yeah, everything else is just super random. I just want to say that if you guys ever plan to sell anything, sell any furniture, anything online, just use Facebook Marketplace and offer up because all these other apps and all this other stuff is just gonna be scams, straight up scams. People are so bored and poor and lazy to just go get a regular job. I mean, if you gonna scam, like scam a corporation or something. I've been getting a lot of people on this app called like Trade It Marketplace. And these people will just straight up be like, oh, what's your, your number? What's your Zelle? I'll send you the money right now. Or some people will be like, oh, I'm going to send you a cashier's check. And then once you get it, I'm going to come pick it up or something. I'm going to get a truck and come pick it up. First of all, nobody in their right mind is going to pay you before they even look at the item in person. Because then I could be scamming you. I would just take your money and block you. So, yeah, that's one thing to look out for if y'all ever do need to sell some furniture and you don't know where to sell it. I mean, I guess also Craigslist, but I haven't tried that. I don't think I would either because Craigslist is like even more stupid. Hey y'all, it is the next day and y'all will never believe where I'm at. I'm actually on my bed, but I'm in the living room 
And not only that, but I literally put all four of my mattresses together. So obviously I had two mattresses. My brother had two mattresses. And my boyfriend came over last night and we were just like, let's just put them all in the living room and like build a gigantic, huge bed. So that's what we did. Plus the TVs in here. I don't have a TV in my room. Never did. So it was like, it just made sense because I don't even have my couch no more. But let me show y'all what it looks like. <laughs> so when I say four mattresses, literally one, two, three, four. And mine, th this is mine that I literally sleep on. And it is the biggest one. It is so huge. But yeah, I didn't have no furniture in here. We wanted to watch TV. Nobody has came to buy the TV set, the TV stand. I haven't even got a lot of offers. So that's a little disappointing. But as I said, somebody bought the chairs as well. And then somebody came this morning and they got my nightstands. My house is just a mess, so I don't give a damn. <laughs> Somebody's actually coming to get the dresser later today. So that's a plus. Look at my little onesie on the floor. It's just, this is a mess. Literally, like, as soon as I woke up, the lady today was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to come pick up the nightstands in, like, an hour. I was like, fuck. <laughs> so I had to, like, dump everything out. This is, like, some PR stuff that I actually never wanted. I was kind of mad that the company had sent it to me because I was, like, I didn't agree to promote for y'all and then i also got like some nail stuff also sent to me that i didn't agree to do so i don't know what i'm gonna do with this i was gonna do a little giveaway but i never did anyway so yeah somebody's coming for the dresser later i gotta clean everything out and off of it and then they are also picking up my brother's bed frame which is in here so they're gonna come get this. I'm probably gonna throw this away because it's broken. Like this shit is just like wonky. Oh, and also somebody's coming to pick up the table set, my glass table set. So that's gonna be a nice little extra change because that's I think up for 200. But the person that's coming, I think the person that's coming to pick up the bed frame and my dresser is giving me like 400. So, a little 600 in a day. Happy for that. One eternity later. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This whole moving process is so ridiculous. I have not packed a single thing. The last time I got on here and told you guys, yeah, I'm about to start doing the kitchen stuff. No, I have not. I've been eating Popeyes, spilling stuff on my shirt, and watching Family Feud on YouTube. <laughs> and I got to be out of here by tomorrow at 3 p.m. That stuff is not even down. Anyways, um, this lady's about to come and buy the table set. So I'm going to just move that to the center of the living room. She's gonna be here in about 30 minutes. So in the meantime, I'm, I'm gonna start packing. I'm literally gonna start packing. For some reason, I'm just not feeling the pressure, but <laughs> and this feels so freaking ghetto, like, I'm just not feeling the pressure. Like, I'm really not, and I need to. My baby don't mess around because she loves me so, and this I know for sure. But does she really want to fuck us and to see me walk out the door? Don't try to fight the feeling because the thought alone is killing me right now. Oh, 
they say it. Then what next? 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 Target. I am picking up some trash bags because I ran out like I knew I was and I'm kind of in a rush because the person that was supposed to pick up the tables was supposed to be here a while ago and as soon as I found out I ran out of trash bags I was like dang she was supposed to be here like an hour and ago I mean an hour and ago she was supposed to be here an hour ago so I was like okay let me text her and see where she's at and she was still like 30 minutes away so I just have to come get these trash bags really quick and then I'm gonna run back home. Like, not for nothing. She was supposed to be at my house by 6 and it's 7.30 and I'm at Target. So it's like, I'm not about to just sit at home waiting. But yeah, let me try and find these freaking trash bags. I only need about like 10. I mean, I don't need 10, but I need like a pack of 10. I don't I don't really see a pack of 10. They always sell like 50 or 60. So I'm still packing, but I have a little story time for you guys because everything's been cool. Everything's been cool with me like selling this furniture. Like every single person that has come now has been super cool. But the person that came to get the tables just now, first of all, she was supposed to be here by six. She didn't get here till 8.30. And not only that, you guys, she freaking skimped me on how much she was supposed to give me. Granted, you know, people will come and be like, oh, I only have this. Can I give you this? Da, da, da. She didn't do none of that. She came with like this older dude and she came with her daughter. Like when she came, I was sitting here like waiting for them to get out the car so I can lead them inside and, you know, show them where everything is at. Taking super long, walking extra slow. We finally get inside and she looking around like, and it's like, yeah, girl, I'm moving there's your tables go get your tables so she's just like looking at them i'm like i mean you could take a look like there's no scratches there's no marks there's nothing wrong with them so you paying with apple pay zelle cash app like what you got you know what i'm saying so she was like yeah yeah i got apple pay da, da, da. so the dude starts like carrying the tables out but he's carrying it by himself like it's three tables he carried the smaller one by himself and she just watched him didn't even hold the door open for him or nothing just like sitting there watching him. So it was just me and her in my apartment, literally right there, standing over there by my kitchen counters up. And she starts making small talk like, oh, you like staying over here? Yeah, and now I'm leaving. So I need you to take your tables and go. Like we're literally just sitting there and then her daughter, cause y'all saw my bed earlier. It looks like a little fun playhouse or whatever. So her daughter like starts climbing on my bed. And then she calls her daughter back over. And then her daughter says she needs to use the bathroom. So I have to grab toilet paper. Because mind you, I'm not trying to like buy anything. or do. I didn't even want to buy the trash bags. So I don't have a lot of stuff right now. I had to go grab the toilet paper from my personal bathroom. Put it in the guest bathroom. Let her daughter use it. They used it with the door wide open. And then I see her in there like counting cash. And I'm like, oh, I thought you were using Apple Pay. And then I still didn't even get paid. Anyways, she comes back out. It's just awkward. So I start like packing and stuff, like, you know, just moving, doing what I was doing before she had came so late and rudely. And then her dude comes back inside and he's about to carry the next table. It's two more tables to go. I'm not about to sit up here and like feel awkward with y'all or with her in my own house. So I was like, you know, it's fine. I'll help you with the other table. Like, it's cool. You can grab the bigger one. I'm gonna grab the small one. It's cool. Let's do this. So we're leaving out and she's literally just walking behind me. And the dude starts struggling with the door. I mean, the man was struggling. He had the big round table. So yeah, he's somewhat of a big dude, I guess. He was bigger than me, but like not like humongous, like basketball player, bigger dude. But he was, you know, had the big table. He had the big table in his hands. He's trying to use his pinky to turn the doorknob 
and then use his foot to like kick it open. And she's just sitting there watching the entire thing. And I can't do anything because I'm holding the table, the smaller table like this too. And she's just standing there. She's just standing there. So I look back at her and I'm like, hey, do you mind grabbing the door? <laughs> and she's like, oh yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. So she grabs the door, cool. We get down the hallway, about to go to the parking garage. It's time for her to open the second door, right? Because we ran, we already went through this. Like, that's your job here. Since you don't want to carry nothing, you just want to stand there and be a cute bitch. So she stands there, lets him struggle with the door. Because this one was a push door. So like, you know, the little things that she just pushed. He just used his back to push it. And then I guess he expected me to do the same. Because he was like sitting there waiting for me. But I was like, do you mind grabbing the door again? Like... It was so annoying. So as I'm grabbing the, or as I'm like leaving out, I realized she didn't even pay me yet. And I'm about to give them all the tables. So I was like, oh, did you Apple pay me? And she was like, oh yeah, I'm about to do that right now. I'm about to do that right now. So she was like, did you get it? And I didn't have my phone on me. So I looked at her phone. I'm like, oh, I don't have my phone on me. Let me just make sure that's my number. It was a text messages. Yeah. So she paid me a hundred. This is the tables was originally $300, you guys. She messaged me and she was like, oh, can I get them for 150? I was like, I did, the lowest I can do is 200. So she said, okay, that's fine. 200 is what she owed me, right? She comes here, Apple pays me $130 and then gives me the rest in cash. Look at this. All ones, all ones, $70. In ones and that's not even the worst part the worst part is I didn't even count it in front of her I was just like oh you know what I trust you da, da, da. I just wanted them to get the fuck up out of here I was not feeling their vibe I was not feeling their energy I was just like yo let's just hope to God it's $70 I come inside I had to call my best friend I had to tell her about all this shit I counted it on FaceTime with her it's $59 she shorted me $11. Granted, I don't give a fuck about $11, but it's the disrespect for me. Because if you wanted to only give me a certain amount, I mean, if you wanted to give me $189, by all means, whatever. But why not just say that? Why not just say, hey, I only have this much. Is it cool? No, you wanted to be sneaky and just... Anyway, so... That's the only issue I have had. Everybody else has been super cool. I just, I'm just so annoyed that that had to have happened. I kind of felt like it was like some weird, whatever energy, but I didn't expect her to skin me. Like that was so trash. But anyways, it is what it is. I still have so much more to go. Um, it's 11 o'clock now, well, 10.55, so. I'm gonna try and get more done within like the next hour or so. I pretty much just have my room left. Like that's really it. The rest of the stuff is like, I'm just gonna put in a box, go. Some of that stuff I'm just gonna throw away. So I'm really not too stressed. I just had some Popeyes, about to finish making my smoothie. And then, yeah. Oh, and I have some papaya in the fridge. I cut up some papaya, some papaya fruit. So I'm gonna eat that before I go to bed too. And we're just about to move on to my bedroom. So let's go ahead and do that.
nice day and I'm just nowhere near on time. I had to ask them to extend the three o'clock time period because I was there was no way I was gonna be done. So they said it was fine. I could just um, take pictures of everything as long as it's clean. I completely finished my closet. Nothing in here, not a single trace. Ew, did I do that? <laughs> Ew. But yeah, I finished the bathroom too. Absolutely done, cleaned, wiped out. Um, so somebody was supposed to come pick up the bed frame. Another person was supposed to come from the dresser, but they have not come yet. And now everything is in the living room and it looks a mess. Oh my gosh. But a few more people are coming to get stuff today. But by the time they come, I'm going to be out of here. So I just told them to meet me at the storage unit. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's been a day. It's been a day. I have so much to talk about. Like I was crying earlier. I was shedding tears, like bawling just because of, I was just overwhelmed with everything, but you know, I'm almost done. I just have to clean up the kitchen. Um, and my boyfriend's here to help me move everything into the truck. So super grateful for that because there was no way I was going to do that. The leasing agent was probably going to have to help me because I can't move these mattresses by myself. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start taking this down and then clean the kitchen and start moving everything into the truck. If you guys are curious, I don't know like if y'all have never moved before, you just want to like rent out a U-Haul one day. The U-Haul that I got is the 15 foot one and that was $77 in total. I also bought some gloves. I bought these gloves to help me like carry these boxes because I have thin skin literally and figuratively so the boxes be hurt in my fingers but anywho i gotta be out of here it's already four o'clock i gotta be out of here by like 5 45 so let me just get back to packing and i will talk to you guys in a little bit maybe when i get to the storage unit or something because time is ticking <laughs> all done with like the storage stuff this is everything these trash bags are just the donations that I think I mentioned earlier I have to take them to a donation unit but I'm gonna be in Atlanta for like another month or so so I'm just kind of gonna keep them in storage until I find some time to go because it's getting late but yeah, those are my mattresses. Yeah, no, everything that I just had in my apartment is in there. And I have to take this all to a storage unit. So basically, I'm actually just going to go back inside and finish cleaning. I feel like I'm just going to end the vlog here because you guys have pretty much seen everything that I've done. Um, but if anything, I'll show you guys like a run through of the entire apartment just done. But for the most part, like y'all, y'all seen my apartment a million times in this video um but i will show like the finished finished um thingy but i'm also doing like an apartment tour on my on this apartment so it's going to be in my norcross video so you guys can check that out but anyways i want to thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and come with me on my journey through life because i don't know what the fuck else i'm going to be doing in my next videos but yeah, thank y'all for watching. I'll see you next time. Intentions. Shout out to your mom and dad for making you. Staying in a vision, they did a great job raising you. When I create, you're my muse. The kind of smile that makes the news. Y'all, that's fucked.